Yo, what's going on, good people? You know what it is out here in these streets. I'm your favorite drum coach, Drum Coach Samadhi. And I'm here to give you a quick tip that I learned from my big brody, Eric Moore. A while back when I was playing the drums, I wasn't all that good, wasn't all that great. And so I got a chance to sit with my big homie, Eric Moore. And he said, number one, you gotta work on your flow. And number two, you have to build your confidence. Now, the best way to build your confidence and work on your flow is to slow stuff down. See, I was moving way too fast and a lot of my notes and a lot of my phrasing was jumbled together. It sounded like a kid on roller skates who didn't know how to skate. You ever, you ever seen a kid try to skate who doesn't know how to skate? It's just, it's not good at all. It was terrible. So what I did was I took his advice and I saw tremendous growth in my playing. It only took me like three weeks or even four weeks of practicing this concept for me to see some tremendous growth. And the results were, number one, my confidence built greatly around the kit. Number two, in my phrasing, I became more creative. I was actually able to think more freely. And lastly, I cleaned up my playing. There was no stick flubs. You know how you click your sticks together or accidentally hit a rim, sometimes miss a cymbal and end up dropping a stick? That stuff stopped. So if you ever see me hit a rim or miss a cymbal and drop a stick, that's a clear sign that I have not been working on my control. I have not been slowing things down. I've been moving way too fast. I was about to say, I was about to say the most inappropriate joke. I was about to go with it. He knows where I'm going with it. Don't move, don't move too fast, Doc, okay? You know. Now, to slow things down, what I would do is move at a max speed of 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. And the max tempo would be 100 BPM. However, I did start at 60 BPM and worked my way up. And also, in my practicing, I didn't just play 16th notes. I broke some of the notes up. I started playing eighth notes, even eighth note triplets. But the fastest speed I was moving at was the one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So for your examples, I'm gonna give you three different BPMs, 60 BPM, 80 BPM, and 100 BPM, and I'm gonna do a drum solo at each. Really short, nothing crazy. But notice, I'm not gonna be moving anything faster than 16th notes, and I'm not gonna stay at 16th notes the entire time. I'm going to break it up because we have to perfect our control. You see, it's not always about speed. Sometimes perfection is a slow process. Now, the last tip that Eric gave me when you're practicing slow is to make sure you're still working on your power. We are not playing slow and pathetic. Don't be playing soft and weak and timid because that ain't confidence. Confidence is bold. So let's get to these examples. 60 BPM, 80 BPM, and 100 BPM. Let's go.
All right, good people, that's it. That's the concept. That's how I used to practice when I was working on my control, slowing things way down, just practicing to a click, and then applying it to music. Now, I'm going to apply it to music in a little bit. But first, let me tell you this. It's not just practicing this at each BPM for like 20 or 30 seconds. No, I spent time on this. I'll spend five minutes straight at 60 BPM, five minutes straight at 80 BPM. Sometimes I didn't jump up by 20. Sometimes I jumped up only by five. So 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, all the way up to 100 BPM. That gives me at least 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour of practicing slow control and power. Heck, you can even practice for two hours it's really up to you but all in all you cannot walk let alone run before you crawl so that's enough talking for me good people i gotta play to this track and i gotta get up out of here so i'll see you guys on the next one peace